Welcome back to EA Sports. It is the start of the Stanley Cup playoffs. NHL action. Let's drop the puck. Opening face-off just moments away. from a high danger scoring area, James, and I mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. We're still in the early stages of this period. We've still got zeros on the board. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Syracuse takes hold of the puck. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Rest arms in the air. We got a penalty coming up. Whistle blown, stopping the play. The Crunch have found themselves undermanned. Interference the call. Here's a first look at the power play. First power play opportunity of the game and also a chance to dictate pace if they can go ahead in this one. And a successful clearing attempt. Davies grabs the puck inside his own territory. Quick feed to Yost. Here's a scoring pass. And he denies that great opportunity there. Jost's ready to take the draw here on this power play. Steps in and takes the puck. Syracuse with possession in their own zone. And they get the puck out. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Takes it and looks ahead. Here's a shot. What a save. Roberts ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Off the draw and he ties up his opponent. Puck cleared from the defensive end. One last rush here on this power play. Dumont has not been ready to get back on the ice. Still tied here as the power play fails to come up with a goal. Well, this power play unit was stagnant, James. They didn't create any offense. They didn't get any pucks to the net, and there were really no chances. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Still scoreless in this one. Big time saving goal as he gets all of it with the stick. Syracuse brings the puck in from center. Oh, a big time hit along the wall. And this is why I'm glad I'm up here in a suit, Cheryl. And I'm right there with you, James. I wouldn't want to be along those boards either. It almost looked like he left his feet early, but nonetheless, it's a bone crusher. Syracuse plays it along the wing. Sends it in front. Oh, and he fans on it. Here's a chance. Here's a shot. And he stakes that one with the club. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. Still looking for our first goal. Richards has it in their own end. Grab along the board by Plague. Into the offensive end now. The pass in front. And that's off target. Puck picked up by Plague. Here's a rocket of a shot. Talk about embracing the nervous energy. Now he can take a breath, feel good about himself, and let the creativity flow. Now your opponent's chasing the game. When you get the first goal of a playoff series, you're starting it off sending a clear message that you want it. The Crunch have struck first, and it's still relatively early in this one. Well, let's see if the game opens up a little bit now. They've settled in. They've got the game's first goal now. These next two few shifts are critical to see what kind of energy that they can bring and maintain. Syracuse. 
Juice gains a hold of possession. Make a change, make a change. Taken by Merch. Here's a short pass to Crowd. The Americans carry it along the wall. Slittering feet. Oh, he comes up with a stop. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. The Americans need to find a way to answer back here in this first period. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And now it's grabbed by Carroll. Syracuse on the attack. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Turns that one away. Puck is frozen and we get a stoppage in play. Still lots of time left in the period. We got a 1-0 game to this point. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Knocks it away with the stick. Up along the wing. Here's a chance. Gains it over on the attack. How did he stop that one? They fight for it along the boards. Syracuse has possession of it now. Puck scooped up by Carroll. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Steps inside the line. Slub up, slub up. Rochester's got a hold of it against the wall. Slides it up ahead from the right wing. With possession along the wall. Great save from in tight. There's another stop. That's a fantastic sequence of saves there. James, he was so dialed in, he tracked it perfectly. Broken up by Murray. Rochester's got it in their own zone. Quick shot! Oh, and there's a great save high on the felt! Johnson for the bucket, it's knocked away. Scores! His first of the playoffs, and the rookie gets it done! Well, every athlete wants to establish themselves as a playoff performer. Well, the rookie, an impressive start to leaving a lasting impression. So much of the goaltending position is tracking the puck and trying to get the sight lines, James. And with only one, you might lose it for a second. But if you outbattle and outwill the person in front, you're going to find it. Unfortunately, this puck, it beats him clean. More than half the period has expired. We are all tied up in this one. Syracuse wins it. Elements got it in the defensive end. Intercepts it in the neutral zone. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. Stevens caught red-handed. Tripping is the call. Top of the power play unit to get back to work. Power plays more time on the ice. The ability to get that puck moving. These players know exactly what they're doing. They work on it in practice. Spoke to some of them earlier today at the pregame. And they talked about the execution and the precision in particular with their puck movement. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Syracuse will try to break out here shorthanded. And they manage to clear it from their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Hasn't been a very good one so far. Haven't even registered a shot. The tough negated entry. They're going to have to find a way to get in and get set up. Goaltender covers it up and we'll get a reset here. Roberts recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. The Americans win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Makes the save with the chopper. Tries to clear the puck. And they get the puck out of the zone. I like the aggressive sequence to this PK unit, James. They're all over the puck in straight lines. They're hard and heavy on it. When they get it, they send it 200 on the ice. And this kills some valuable time and gets them a line change and uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Battle along the wall. Scooped up along the wall by Crozier. And the puck stopper jumps on to get a stoppage in play. Here in the back half of this period, it's all tied up. The Americans win the faceoff. Gets a piece of it and will play on. Well, this is a really great save, James. I and mean, you can see that he's back in position. You can see him moving up 
and down as his eyes are trying to track and find the puck. That's outworking your opponent and finding a way to make the save. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. And there's a little boost from off the wing as the centers are tied up there. And it goes off the stick and off to the side. Myers carries the puck in his own side. Getting into the later stages of this period, we got a tie game. The Americans take possession off the faceoff. And he slides it quickly to Murray. The Americans cross the blue line and are on the attack. Keeps a hold of the puck after that knock. Finley's picking up steam. Syracuse plays it against the boards. And that's intercepted by Murray. Here they come on the attack. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. From the open ice, they gain the line. Takes a shot. Denied by the goaltender. We'll get a face off after the puck stays covered up. The Americans win the defensive zone faceoff. Moves it quickly over to Richards. Moves the puck. The Americans looking against the half wall. Here he is in front. Fantastic save. And they continue to apply pressure here. Quick pass to Dumont. Right on Main Street and on the attack. Sets it out in front. That one. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. And that carries off a body in the lane. Richards plays it against the boards. Tremendous read and even greater sacrifice on the block. Officials have got both teams ready, and it looks like play is set to resume here. And they win the defensive zone face off. Takes the feed. Elements cross the line and gain the zone. And that's poked away. And we'll get a face-off after the offside call. In the final moments of this period, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. And after the broad center, they've got a hold of the puck. Takes the feed and center moves up the hill. Incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter. Oh, what a save! That is a big stop just as time expires in the period. There you go. Period number one is done. We're going to come back in just a quick moment with period number two. Stay with us. Limited edition team breaks are available tonight at your team store. Get yours before they're all gone. The middle stanza is about to go. The official's ready to drop the puck. Still dead heat as we get period number two underway. Well, Shirley, over to the third of this one play. What do you make of this one? Syracuse needs some more offensive production if they want to break the tie in the second period here, James. They really felt like they were back on their heels, and they really didn't attack when they got into the offensive zone. So the rookie gets his first playoff goal. Well, it's so important to manage the expectation and the nerves when you're a rookie, and that goal is going to do nothing but give him confidence. Well, that's a great shot, James. I mean, with his head up, he looks at the goaltender. Quick release that beats the goaltender five hole. Syracuse goes up by one here in the second. I like their jump and their step now. I like their jump and their step, and they got to keep it going here because I expect a pushback from their opponent. This is a highly contested game, James, and I think it's going to be tight right down the wire. Come on! 
quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Takes the feed from the left side. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Shot! Stopped by the goaltender, getting a piece of that one. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Lots of time left in this period. Syracuse is trying to build on that one goal lead. And they win the draw here in their own end. Receives the pass. And he totally whiffs on that one. Feeds it over to Yost. Slides the puck to Jost. The Americans have it in the offensive zone. Here he is from the slot. Denies him. Picked up along the boards by Yost. Syracuse looks to break out in their own end. Moves it to Fortier. And that goes off a player. Slides it across to Yost. Rochester's got it along the wall. Oh, great read as he pokes it away. Quick feed to Saccioni. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. And that's a great hits up play by Fortier. Syracuse plays it along the wall. Here's a chance. Scores! And the kid comes up clutch here in the postseason. Oh, he does it. James gets his first playoff goal. I mean, it's incredible the confidence that this should give him. I mean, the pressure and the stakes are high, and he delivers. Well, he has all the time in the world to just tag this clapper low stick side. That's a beautiful shot. Syracuse gives themselves even more breathing room now, extending the lead to two. Yeah, they can certainly take a breath, but not too much of one, because if their opponent can get one, they will be within striking distance. This is why this is a tough lead to have. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Rochester's put a lot of pucks on net. Now they just need to put one past the goaltender, still trailing in the second. The Americans take possession here inside the offensive zone. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Walcott's taking it from his own end. Here's a short pass to Crozier. Syracuse plays the puck along the boards. Puck clears, trying to shake loose. Take it, that one to go. Oh, that's extremely frustrating when you do the work to get in on a breakaway and then you get nothing in return, a missed opportunity. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. Syracuse has really pushed the pace over these last few minutes, leading by a pair. Oh, just got a piece of that one with the club to keep it out. Denies him again. Rochester's got the puck. Stops that one. From the blue line, they take control of it. huge confidence boost for himself and his teammates. The Americans with a strike here early in this second period, and here we go. Let's see where the momentum goes, Cheryl. Yeah, there's a lot of runway left, and this is exactly what you want to see if you're the coach, the positive vibes as they get on the board. Rochester's got the puck here in the open ice. Play whistle dead offside the call. The Americans trail here in period number two, but it hasn't been for a lack of effort. All sorts of scoring chances. Richards wins it inside the neutral zone. Syracuse gains a hold of it. Rochester's gained possession along the boards. Read that perfectly with the poke check. Myers moves the puck. Pass to Gonsalves. Takes a shot. Tukarski's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. Roberts won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Murray's got it into offensive territory. Oh, it stays out. He's got a piece of that one. 
Big hit, and that frees up possession. Moves it quickly over to Robert. And he takes the feed. And now he angles it across to Element. Play is called for offside. Still lots of time left here in this frame. 3-2 is where we're sitting. Syracuse has won the draw, and they take possession in the neutral zone. Solid hit on the play. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. And that's off target as it hits a body. Rochester's looking to break out. Tries to get the puck over to Clay. Rocked him in the open ice. Can't maintain possession. A chance in front. And that doesn't connect. Scrum ensues along the boards. Quick pass to Element. Slides the puck over. Syracuse has it against the half wall. Makes the glove stop. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Rochester's got to find a way to break on through. They've had plenty of shots on net, and yet they trail here in period number two. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. From the right wing, he moves into the middle. Hero got it in the offensive zone. And that caroms off a body in traffic. Gets the puck in deep. Rochester's got possession of the puck. Picked up along the wall by Stillman. Rochester's got it in their own zone. Handles the puck. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Fires it off the post. Rochester's starting to generate more chances. This is exactly what you want. And the game is close. You have to find a way to get it back to equal. This one goes off the pipe, but they can't get frustrated. Just continue to pump away and generate those opportunities. Myers plays it now. And he connects with the long bomb. Moves it to Myers. Slick feed. The Americans gain control of it. And that's poked away by Gonsalves. Here they come on the attack down the right side. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. And the coach isn't going to be happy with this penalty. You have a one-goal lead, and now you find yourself back on your heels, and the penalty kill has to come out and do a job. As we're about to drop the puck, the power play unit back out onto the ice for another opportunity. Well, in a one-goal deficit on the power play now, you have to take advantage. You have to find a way to get the coverage moving and find good scoring opportunities. Nice job to escape the zone. The Americans will play it from the defensive zone. Looks to pass it to Jost. And that's picked off. The Americans have it now. On the attack along the boards. The crunch had the puck shorthanded. And they send it down the ice. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. And now he passes it to Murray. And tries to make a diagonal pass. Two on one. Here we go. Set the table. I mean, didn't get the start that they wanted. Found themselves behind the eight ball. But it's amazing, James. It's an old cliche, but the game is never over until it's over. The Americans have set this up to be a dramatic one tonight. They put themselves in a good position here at the end of the second period. It, isn't, it ain't easy to get goals in this game, but they got the equalizer, and it's a nice step heading into the third period. Battle on Seuss, they're at loose puck from the boards. The crunch have it in their own zone. take possession in the defensive end. Working the puck deep inside their own end. From the neutral zone now. Takes it to center. Shot! And that carries off a stick. And it's a quick pass to Richards. Chase in front! And that's intercepted! 
goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Just here in the late stages of this frame, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Rochester's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. Long jam in front. That's broken up. Look at this down the right wing. They're on the attack. The Americans move it ahead. Puck dumped in. Syracuse has possession of the puck. The Crunch have taken possession of their own end. Along the half wall with the puck. Quick feed to Robert. What a block of stop at point blank range by Tukarski. This is a dialed in goaltender. Very aware of those where the shooter is in that low slot and makes a save. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Rochester's won the defensive zone draw. Now a quick pass to Biro. Look to stop. And they're in the final minute of the second. Sends it over to Dave. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Tried to get 2-2 with it and loses possession. Forte's tried a great move there. We all know what great hands he is in tight. Trying to create some space, but it bobbles off the stick and he lost possession. Oh, and another save! Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Here's a short pass to Carroll. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. And they'll start with possession. There's the horn bringing period number two to an end. 40 minutes down, 20 to go. Third period action is coming up. The moment of truth has arrived for both these teams. Third period action set to go. And we are underway here in the third still time. He says let's get physical on that play. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Syracuse moves ahead with the puck. Looking dangerous as they move along the boards. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Moves the puck along the half wall. A chance in front. Paddled away by on the felt. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. The Americans have it against the wall. And he takes the feed. Right away. Oh, uh, this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. And there's the save. The Crunch have gained possession off the wall. Syracuse has it. Moves it quickly over to Myers. Syracuse is in the offensive zone. Gonsalves plays the puck. And he slides it quickly to Stevens. Makes the save with the glove. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We are all tied up in this one. Just won the draw here in their own zone. Oh, he'll feel that one. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Shot, with the stop. Feeds the puck across to Fortier. And that's a smart heads up play by Murray. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. 
Nope's been a workhorse tonight, James, and there's just another example of it, and the entire bench knows that they're invigorated by it. I mean, he's on his way down, he's stumbling, and he manages to find the puck and get a shot on net. That's tenacity at its best. Great heads up play with the stick by Dave. Quick pass to Fortier. Delay penalty looming. Whistle stops the play. The game of hockey is all about finishing your checks, but that was almost predatory as he came from a distance to finish that check. Way too hard, didn't glide in. It's a call all day long. Syracuse gets set to go to work on the power play for the first time tonight. An opportunity on their first power play of the game, James. And this is an opportunity to look at the coverage as well. See how they're playing it, whether they're going to be aggressive or sit back. And the puck's not loose. Syracuse looks to get things going now with the puck. And he had the answer on that one. From one point man to another. And they score this. Really put the pressure on now. There's the whistle as the puck goes up and over the glass. As we look at this last save, this looks uncomfortable. Stretching your body, finding a way to make yourself as big as possible to get to the save. That's what he did, and that's why the save was made. Face off coming up here in the attacking zone. Well, they'll want to put their foot on the gas pedal here, sensing that the goaltender's overworked right now, and let's face it, he can't change. Scores! And look at that! The rookie gets in on the playoff scoring! Well, talk about embracing the nervous energy. Now he can take a breath, feel good about himself, and let the creativity flow. Power play face-off that leads to possession. That is just a dagger. A quick shot and a goal buries it. The Crunch have to be playing with confidence now here in the third period, and they've got that one goal lead. Well, and there'll be a lot of coaching now because it's about managing the game, James, knowing exactly where they are and finding a way to finish it off for the victory. Myers looks around. Comes up with the stop. Covers it up, and we'll get a stoppage in play. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Syracuse leads by one. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Rochester's working the transition through the middle of the ice. Richards setting up against the wall. Grabbed along the board by Myers. Knocked away in the offensive zone. Alarms lugging the puck. Moves it to Myers. Syracuse is across the line and on the attack. And he loses control here. Nice zone entry on the left side. Puts it on net. Just gets enough to keep it out. The Americans' enemy is starting to become the clock as they still trail here in the third, despite several scoring chances. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Sends it in on the attack. Rochester's got the puck along the wall. Long reach breaks up the momentum. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Blocked away by Tukarski. Battling for the puck, but still hangs on. Time for the officials to hand out the judgment. Well, everyone has a role in this PK unit knows that they not only have to kill this penalty off and keep the game within reach, but maybe they can be opportunistic and pounce on a loose puck for an opportunity. I love the 1-3-1 set on the power play unit they used earlier. Listen, they had success, they scored, but there's so many variations off of it. I love the bumper position that can act as a decoy, allow the puck to get through to create those seams and open up those shot attack lanes. Dumps it into the ozone. Sprung along the wall. Rochester's got a hold of it against the wall. Here he is in close. Sensational stuff high on the felt. Now the shooter's gonna run out of real estate because he does a great job of getting out of top of the crease and taking away all the room. When you make yourself as big as possible, there's less holes in the net. Rochester's moving it along the wing. The Crunch have gained control of the puck in their own zone. Quick feed to Dumont. Here's a shot! Oh, what a save in front! 
Battle along the boards. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Both sides are even up as the power play has expired. And he denied that opportunity. Well, trailing in this game, James, this was a huge kill. They couldn't lose touch of the game, and they did an awesome job of killing that off. Here they come on the attack down the left side. The crunch have the puck in their own zone. Grabs it in his own end. Rochester's got the puck. Here's a short pass to Murray. Gets in front of it. Tries to get the puck to Robert. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. And the puck dies with the trapper save. More than half the period has expired. Syracuse leads it 4-3. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Stops them with the glove. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Rochester's been the better team tonight, in my opinion, but still, they trail here in the third period despite having the advantage in shots. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. Great heads up play to poke it away in the offensive end. There's the whistle offside is the call. Play ready to resume as everybody lines in for the faceoff. And they've got the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. Davies has the puck against the half wall. No room for that one to get through. Syracuse takes it across the line. Fires it on net. Oh, what a stick save. As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible, and that's exactly what he does right there and just takes away the net. And that's turned aside. And there's another stop. Oh, man, he's so dialed in, makes consecutive saves there and keeps his team in it. The Americans win the faceoff. Here's a blast! Scores! His first of the playoffs, and the rookie gets it done! Well, every athlete wants to establish themselves as a playoff performer, while well, the rookie, an impressive start to leaving a lasting impression. This just exemplifies the critical nature of a no-zone faceoff, James. When you win it, you own possession, and you can attack the net. The Americans have scratched and clawed their way to making this a tie game here in a critical point in the third. That's critical timing, James. The bench just erupts with that equalizer. And listen, the score goal like this often to put your opponent on their heels because they knew they had the game within reach. Now it's a much different story. Past the midway mark in this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Roberts won a big draw in their own end. Element's got the puck in his own zone. From the right side and up the middle. Roberts has been quiet tonight and hasn't contributed offensively. And this is a problem for his team who relies on their star sniper. But this game's still close. He's got to find a way to get his game and get back on track. Moves it around along the half wall. Here's a shot. And that was stopped. Rochester's got a hold of it along the wall. Takes a shot. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Carla Bade is standing by with her answer to the head-to-head -head matchup tonight. Mm -hmm. Carla? Yost has been able to provide some offense in this matchup, guys, so I have to give him the edge in this one. And off the draw, they'll take possession. Myers has it along the boards. Fires it into the offensive zone. The Americans have it now. Here they come up along the wing. Grabs the puck at center. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. Oh, what a save! He stopped it! Wow! That's an intangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. Oh, he's going to feel that the rest of the game. They are wearing down their opponents with hits like that. And another call against the home team, and these fans have 
I think they've had enough. They've had enough, and they're booing at the officials and for the players. This is so frustrating. You try and kind of get the temperature of the way the official's going to call the game, and real tough to read when you get three in a row like that. Syracuse is ready to go back to work on special teams. They've already scored on the power play tonight, James, and if it ain't broke, you don't fix it. The coach has got them all ready to go, fired up. They've worked endlessly on this setup, and man, is it working tonight. Directs it on over to Dumont. Takes a shot. Nothing to it. I think he was feeling the pressure there, Jamie. Works hard to get to good spot on the ice. He's got a huge scoring chance, and he's unable to hit the net. He was just a little tight on the stick there, and it went wide. Score! Sam rookie gets his first playoff goal. Well, it's so important to manage the expectation and the nerves when you're a rookie, and that goal is going to do nothing but give him confidence. What an energizing moment for their team. I mean, you're out there on the penalty kill just trying to keep the game tied. And then you play aggressive and you get that shorthanded opportunity and execute. Excellent work by the PK. Rochester's on their way to victory if they can hold down this lead through the rest of the third. Well, it's all about game management, but they can't just sit back and hold on. Otherwise, their opponent, they will look to attack and they will take advantage. Put them back on their heels. Be in the offensive zone where they can't get an opportunity to attack you. Special teams so important. Can they capitalize on this power play here with a face-off? And they grab possession of the puck after that center ice face-off. Shot! Oh, I think that the brings the ball off the post. Rochester's run another one off the post, James. How many is that now? But listen, they're getting opportunities, and they're really firing it towards the net. I really like their game tonight. Cheers.